Finally tonight, CBS's Steve Hartman goes on the road to catch up with the basketball referee and the player who made the greatest assist of his life. Not many people get to return to the scene of their death. But as we first reported last summer, John Scully of Rochester, New York, stepped back into the gym where his time expired. That's the last thing I saw right there, 246. Do you recognize this at all? John oh, is a yeah. basketball referee. <laughs> they cut it, right? It's my jersey. Back in June, John was officiating a semi-pro game between the Jamestown Jackals and Toledo Glass City. That's him on the near side, seconds before his heart attack. The deadliest kind of heart attack, called a widowmaker. Doctors told John's fiance, Donna, almost no one survives it. Yeah, 1% of the population, and he's that 1%. I was in the right place at the right time. I mean, that's why I'm here. Within seconds, a Toledo player named Miles Copeland rushed to his side and started doing CPR. I've never witnessed uh, someone just collapse, but uh, I knew what had to be done. Turns out the Toledo forward is also a Toledo firefighter. A brand new one. At the time, just a year out of the academy. What does that feel like when all is said and done and you've saved a life? It's honestly one of the best feelings in the world. Few moments will ever come close, except maybe. Oh my God. This one. We invited Miles to stop by the gym. <laughs> It was their first Good meeting. I love you, man. Love you, you know I love you. <laughs> After quadruple bypass surgery, John said he was feeling much better and hoped to get back on the court someday. Well, it's been eight months since we first told this story. And number 110 is back in business. He has refed almost 50 games so far this season and appears none the worse for wear. All thanks to Miles Copeland, Love you too, man. who made the ultimate Cinderella story come true. Steve Hartman, on the road, in Jamestown, New York.